Hey, hey! Welcome back to the Let's Play. Today, my friends, it is closing time on Season 1 of the Let's Play here. Season 2 is probably just around the corner since we are on the 1.20 pre-releases at this point, and we were going to start a Season 2 when 1.20 officially comes. So, yeah, my friends, we're actually going to go ahead and say a goodbye to Season 1 of this Let's Play today here on Episode 67. The biggest reason for going ahead and ending this season here as opposed to doing an episode or two more is because I wanted to give myself a little bit of time just sort of away from the world here just so I can sort of get myself mentally psyched up you know I just genuinely get myself all hyped up for season 2 and Minecraft 1.20 and the new location that is to come for season 2 and as I mentioned since we're on the pre-releases at this point I don't imagine it's going to be a great deal of time that we're going to be waiting in order for season 2 and 1.20 to come out. So if any of you guys are worrying about there being a lengthy wait before season 2 comes out, yeah, I don't think you have to worry about it, truly. To tell you the honest truth, I'm kind of thinking that maybe what we could do is actually start season 2 in the 1.20 release candidates, because the release candidates basically are the main updates themselves, barring maybe a couple of minor bugs here and there. So yeah, either way, it's not going to be a long amount of time to wait until Season 2 begins. So what I wanted to do today was sort of reflect upon what we've done in Season 1 here. And also, I'd like to get my YouTube member rewards up to date. We have two mobs to go ahead and get, as requested by you beautiful folks who went for the top tier of membership on this channel. And then I've got some mobs of my choice to give these folks' names. So I've already got all of the name tags up and ready. So then, my friends, with Season 1 wrapping down and the 1.20 update to come, I'm going to ask for something from you guys, okay? If you have never dropped a like on my videos before, I would really appreciate it if today is the first time you do so. If you guys are excited for Season 2 and the 1.20 update to come, please do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like to support this series. Let's see how many likes this video can get. If we can get something like a thousand, that would be absolutely insane. Of course, do consider subscribing if you're not already, if you don't want to miss out on my future content, and especially, of course, the start of Season 2. And of course, if you do want to go on further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off. So the first thing I want to do here, my friends, is to give a little bit of a shout out to every single person listed in this book here. These are the folks who have become a YouTube member at any point in the past up to today so yeah a massive thank you to you if you are on this list here absolute legends the lot of you truly gone above and beyond with your support and i really truly appreciate you all so the first mob we're going to be giving a name to is this mule right here and i don't know why but i feel like you, my good friend, are a Kevin. So there you are. Kevin C, you are a mule in my world now. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got the couple of sniffers roaming around our world. We're going to call one Carolan, and the other one... Oh, torch flower seeds. Very cool. The other one we're going to call Stephen G. There he is. <laughs> Still hanging around this area. Awesome. All right, Stephen G, there you go. You're a sniffer on our world here. You know what? This donkey here, a friendly little donkey, which we've actually barely ridden throughout season one... This guy deserves to have a name. So there you go. Several underscore robot. I'm just going to call you robot. Yeah, the robot donkey. So coming up next, we need to go ahead and breed a dog and call it Lincoln, as requested by Kevin Carleo. We can go ahead and remove these folks from the list here because we're now up to date with the mobs of my choice. And yeah, let's get on with this thing, my friends. What we're going to do... Very, very simply, is we're going to go ahead and get these two up and breeding. And we're going to call the puppy Lincoln. It's going to be amazing. All right, where's the puppy? There you are. Oh, you're so adorable, though. Oh, you think you're a cat? You're on the cat side. Sure. I mean, I ain't going to complain about it. <laughs> He's so adorable. All right, there you go. Lincoln is your name. If only you could face me so I could see your pretty little face. Oh, look at you. 
Hi, Lincoln. Welcome to the world. So then, now for the more interesting one, my friends. A grey cat called Dinnerbone as requested by Gage Attack. Now, I think probably the easiest way to do this would be to take a whole bunch of salmon or raw cod or whatever, and we just go roaming a bunch of naturally generated villages and just see if we can get lucky with finding a grey cat. I have no idea how this is going to go. So the nearest villages I know of are back towards the Cherry Grove biome that we explored in a fairly recent episode. I believe they're coming up here. I think it's like just down in this valley or something like that. Yeah, there we have it. Right, so uh, what we need to do first of all is make sure we've got ourselves a bunch of fish. They are being sacrificed for the greater good though, so don't even worry about it, my friends. What the devil are these guys doing here? Get out of here, man. Get one shot, you son of a gun. Oh, cooked salmon. Rip. I forgot I've got a little bit of uh, fire aspect on my sword here. And even despite these guys being underwater... We still get cooked salmon as opposed to raw salmon. Well, I did not know that, my friends. You can still cook salmon underwater. How about that? Alrighty. Oh, hello. We've got a little ginger tabby cat type thing. Hey, buddy. You are adorable, but a grey cat was requested. Oh, it's a black and white cat. Oh, you're so adorable, no. <laughs> oh, snappers, there's another village. Very cool. Any sign of a kitty cat? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's kind of grey, but it's grey and white. I know that you can get a full grey cat. Got a brown kitty cat here. Very adorable. I wonder if, say, something bad happens to the cats that have already spawned here, how long after that something happening would a cat take to respawn back in? I've got absolutely no idea. All right, never mind. Maybe what I do is just sort of hop between the two villages here and just sort of hope for the best. Oh, hold the phone. Guys, check it out. There we are. There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, right. We need only tame this guy. And then give him the name Dinnerbone. Which, yes, means he's going to be transformed to be upside down. So, um, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Here we are. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Dinnerbone. Boom. <laughs> Oh, God, this is weird. <laughs> I always forget just how hilarious a lot of the mobs look upside down in this game. <laughs> just got to make sure that as we're traveling back here, we don't go outside of spawnable range for the dude. Oh, there he is. He's still with us. All right, weird upside down gray dinner bone cat. You, my good sir, are going to live. Wait. Do cats and foxes get on? You know what? To be on the safe side, we're going to go put you in with the brown mushroom and the trader llama. Ah, oh, still just a little puppy dog, eh? All right, let's get you in the House of Legends as well. Ah, uh, you know what? There's an easier way of doing this. Boom, boom. Where's my travel box? Boom. Uh, oh, I don't have any leads in there. Darn it. How do I not have leads in there? What about in my exploration box? Aha! Yes! Excellent. Right. Come on in, buddy. Come on. Come on. You know you want to come on over and meet your new pals. Yeah, there you are, Lincoln. You got yourself some new pals. Say hello to Secretaria and also Alicia. <laughs> Oh, they look so happy together. Well, then, with the YouTube member rewards all caught up on, I did want to quickly mention that the top tier where you guys can request a mob to be named, that is going to have to be put on hold for just a while. Because, of course, we're going to be starting a new season and we need to be focusing on, you know, getting ourselves geared up and making ourselves a nice starter base, all that kind of stuff. So the slightly lower tier where I choose a mob on your behalf to give your name, that will still go because you know that's still pretty easy to get done but yeah the top tier one will be put on hold for just a little bit you can still become a member of top tier but basically you're just gonna have to wait just a little while to actually have your member reward 
come into effect. And then, season one coming to a close. I mean, it's pretty easy to remember the stats when we started the series because it was literally the first ever video on this new channel here. Well, I say new channel here. We have been running this channel for well over a year now, my friends, which is pretty awesome. We had zero subscribers when we started the series and zero views. And then, yeah, at the first year milestone for this series, 1st of February 2023, we had 23,800 subs and just over a million total upload views, which is absolutely amazing. At the time of me making this episode, the final episode of season one, we are just shy, I think, of 27,000 subs, which is really quite beautiful to see. So, my friends, again, I know I say thank you a lot, but I truly do mean it every time I say it. I hope it doesn't lose meaning as we go along here. Thank you for all of your support throughout the series, throughout this new channel here. It was an enormous risk, quite possibly the biggest risk I've ever taken starting a new Minecraft channel over continuing to run the old Python MC channel. The reason I did it is because I just wasn't happy on Python MC anymore. I was just really sick of seeing the down red arrows on my YouTube analytics. I was really sick of seeing all of the unfinished series that I had on that old channel as well. In terms of a reflection on the channel have i stuck to my word in terms of you know sticking to series a bit more 100 percent, yes the only thing i've cancelled recently and it is literally the only series i've cancelled on this entire channel so far is the 100 days ultra hardcore series i started that because i felt like i had to start it rather than me actually wanting to start it i felt like i had to chase trends and you know making that decision and trying to go down that route it didn't make me feel good about myself. It didn't make me feel good about the channel or my career as a whole. So I was just like, do you know what? No, we're just going to stick to the Let's Play. It's what I love to do. It's the world I love to play on. It's the world you guys love to see. It's the world that I've become most attached to as well. And it's a world that you guys have become attached to as well. So yeah, this Let's Play, it's my home. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, truly. I mean, yes, we're going to start seasons here and there, probably timed for the major releases of updates, just so, you know, we got some fresh eyes on the series, all that kind of stuff. It's a great way of getting fresh eyes on the series, you know. Start back on episode one. I mean, there's still going to be like a cumulative episode number, you know, the total episode number uh, in like the bottom corner of season two and the future seasons, just so you guys can keep track of just how many episodes we've done on this world as a whole rather similar to how we did on python's world back on python mc you know but yeah my friends i've done a lot of scouting for epic locations we can call our home for season two and at this point it's between one of two locations the only spoiler i will give is there will be plenty of 1.20 features blocks and bits and bobs nearby okay that's all i'm gonna say I'm sure you guys can put two and two together, right? <laughs> I won't insult your guys' intelligence. There's going to be some epic stuff to come in Season 2. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Season 1 has just been amazing. We've done a lot of cool builds on this world. Yes, a lot of them are unfinished. But honestly, go look at any other person's Let's Play world. Long-term Let's Play world. All of them, literally all of them, have multitudes of unfinished projects on their world. In my opinion, it's healthy to have unfinished projects because it means you have something to do if you're stuck for an episode plan, you know? If you get bored with whatever project you're running and you want to go back to an older project to see if you can't make some progress on it, maybe get it finished... It's great. It really, really is great. We've got all these builds here that we can start on once we have the ability to come back here. You know, once we've got our season two goal done and dusted first. But yeah, it's good, my friends. We have plans. I think if you were to ask me what my favorite builds have been so far on this world... I couldn't give you a definitive answer for the most favorite, but I could give you an answer for my top three. Number one... The Donut Museum here. It's probably the first time I've ever used Amethyst blocks in a build. And it works really, really well for this area. I love this thing. It's a museum in the shape of a donut surrounding a little bit of a fountain. Which for any of you eagle eye viewers, you may have noticed it's got a pixel art of my face. Eh? It's pretty cool. And we've got some little axolotls in there with a bunch of my YouTube members names as well. It's 
awesome. The function of this museum is to preserve the history of this world. The very first pickaxe we made. Also, to celebrate milestones in the form of these signs here. You know, we got our first birthday here. Around here. We would put the second birthday stats, etc, etc. We've also got storage for all of the comment of the day books as well. It's a place dedicated not only to celebrating this channel and this series, but for also preserving the history. And to be honest, I think that's an awesome thing to do in your world, especially if you intend on having your world last for a long, long time. It's something I learned from Dallas Med 65, in fact. Preserving history, it's awesome. It's awesome. It truly is. We've got all the heads here. We've got the first ever dragon we took down. We have the final of the 20 dragons. We've taken down 20 dragons in the series in the pursuit of getting all 20 end gateway portals going. First ever netherite block, an ancient city, notch apple, the super rare deep slate emerald. Eh? We've got some cool stuff going on here. And a rare, normal diamond door. These things are super rare nowadays, my friends. We've got the first raid beaten, triple wither fight. Oh, God, don't give me flashbacks of that one. <laughs> also in my top three favorite builds is, of course, the House of Legends here. It is a place to celebrate you folks supporting this channel and series here. All of you folks on these signs here have gone above and beyond. All of you folks listed in this book here, as I showed earlier, have gone above and beyond. And of course, let's not forget about the folks who have gone again above and beyond with the super chats here. Again, if you're listed in this book here, thank you so much for your support. Some folks have just gone absolutely insane with the support, donating like 50 bucks. But yeah, there is one person I do need to shout out, of course, and that is Paul McConnell with the $1.99. Thank you so much, Paul. I really appreciate the generosity, my friend. And my other of the top three favorite builds in this world is the Emerald Bank, of course. I love this build it all came together extremely well we have a beautiful looking entrance here we pop in and we have ourselves a source of emeralds we just sell all of the iron ingots that we get from our fully automatic iron farm and there you go not only a source of emeralds but a source an excellent source more to the point of xp i love this build, the interior comes together really well. We've got all these Smith villages in here. And of course, we've got storage for all of the various bits and bobs as well. I love this build. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys love this build as well. But yeah, there you have it. That's my top three favorite builds of this season. So then, in terms of season two coming up, I'll try and give you a rough outline of what's to come. As I mentioned, scouted out some locations with a bunch of 1.20 features nearby, so we have them to look at straight off the go. We're gonna have not one survival twist, but two survival twists to come in season two. Something to set this season apart from the other ones, and something just to challenge ourselves a little bit, you know? So yeah, not one twist, but two. Can you guess what they are? Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of you guys might be able to guess from the previous twists I've had in Python's world before. But yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different, you know? Just something a little bit different, a little bit of a challenge for season two. Just something to keep us on our toes. And once we have completed the set goal for season two, that is the point in the season where the little survival twists will be disabled and the let's play basically goes back to being the normal let's play that we've had going on, you know, the whole time we've been running season one here. So yeah, we're going to have ourselves a bit of a goal for season two, whether that is we have to take down a bunch of bosses or we have to build something and actually complete it, you know, a bit of a building project. Yeah. That'll be the point. Once we complete it, that'll be the point where this returns to being a normal Let's Play. And we can come back to the original parts of the world and work on the original projects again. Hopefully, that all makes sense. And I really do hope that all of that sounds like something that you guys will get excited for. Because truly, my friends, because truly, once our little wait is over, waiting for the 1.20 main update, or more to the point, the release candidates, yeah, we're going to be getting right on with this thing. I don't imagine it's going to be... A very long wait, but yeah, my friends, get hyped. Get hyped, because there's going to be some amazing stuff coming. So then, my friends, all that's left to do today is to do the comment of the day. The final comment of the day for season one. 
Ashmin says, Hey Python, I think in addition to Project Pokemon, Librarian Edition, you should also collect villagers from different biomes. By the way, love your vids. I love that idea. Not only could we collect villagers from different biomes, but we could also collect all the different types of villagers, including, yes, I have to say, even the nitwits. <laughs> so, yeah, it could be a really, really awesome idea if maybe in the far future, we could have like a bit of a display area where not only would we have every profession of villager on display, but we would also have every different sort of skin of villager. So we would have like the jungle skin villager. We would have the savannah skin villager, the tiger skin villager, the swamp skin villager. I mean, the jungle and swamp villager, villagers they don't spawn naturally in a world you have to get lucky enough for a villager zombie with those skins to generate in those biomes if you get a villager zombie to generate in a swamp or jungle biome you will get that skin that way so yeah it would be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Trying to get the jungle and swamp villages. So then, my friend, let's go ahead and put this comment of the day book inside of the chest. Way over here, episode 56 to 82. Bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of behind the scenes. I do this after every episode's finished recording. I just organize the world. Just to quickly mention, no, there isn't going to be a map download from the point of the end of this episode. The next map download will still be on episode 100 but like the cumulative episode 100 so in season two that would be what episode 33 that would essentially become the episode 100 map download so yeah guys look forward to that there's so much stuff still to come in this series i'm so so excited for season two and i really do hope that from this video you guys are getting excited as well i think the only other thing i might want to do is make a little bit of a display area for my season one gear okay so let me see if i could get maybe an armor stand okay there is indeed one there and i'm thinking we grab for ourselves a chest just a box standard chest and maybe we put this stuff in the donut museum i mean again it's a place where we try to preserve our history on this world and season one is going to be becoming history so yeah the question is where in here do we display the season one gear so then here we go the boots the pants the flying machine and the aqua cap and finally of course we go ahead and we put all of our gear in this chest oh snap dudes we're actually doing this we're putting our gear away for the last time or well, at least for now anyway oh dude <laughs> This is awesome. This is all of the gear and all of our items from Season 1. Let's not forget about the shield, of course. Bada bing, bada boom. There we have it. Wow. <laughs> This is going to be amazing. And yeah, we need to reset our XP level down to zero. And well, there's only really one reliable way of doing that, isn't there? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> When even killing yourself in Minecraft goes wrong. Let's do that again, shall we? Boom! Respawn. And there we have it. <laughs> Very good. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. If you are excited for Season 2 to come, if you've enjoyed Season 1 here, and you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you'd head down below the video and support this series with a big old like rating. Do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on Season 2 when it comes, my friends. But for now, I'm going to bid you farewell for the last time from Season 1. Thank you for watching. Truly Thank you for your support. I really appreciate each and every single one of you folks. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next season. Bye-bye.